All right, Travel Diaries, Las Vegas. This is my monologue series where I share additional behind the scenes footage of my trip. I do comparisons like this one, share additional insights, go over my cost, and sometimes get a little personal. If you're looking for my full blown cinematic experience videos, go ahead and check the link in the description below. I stayed at both these properties for three nights each, eating at the best restaurants, going to the pools, um, two remarkable suites, and the list goes on and on. So if you're looking for those videos, uh, go ahead and check the description below. In this video, I'm just gonna have a one-on-one -on -one with you and talk about which property I like better. Is it Venetian or is it Palazzo? And this is a really tough comparison for me. This might be one of the toughest comparisons I've ever done because there's much more parity between Venetian and Palazzo than there was, let's say, between Encore and Wynn. The Encore and Wynn comparison was very black and white for me. It was very simplistic. It was very easy to make that decision for me. Uh, but this one is more difficult because the properties are a bit more homogenous. Yes, I just used that word, homogenous. And there aren't that many differences between the room. Really, the differences are what lies outside the room and inside the campus and properties. Okay, so let's jump right into this. First of all, if you are deciding between Venetian and Palazzo, you are winning, right? You got a great decision to make. Life is good. You will not be disappointed in either one. They are connected. Together, this is the second largest hotel complex in the world. And if you're at the Venetian, it's easy to access the Palazzo, such as the pool and the restaurants over there, and then vice versa. If you're at the Palazzo, it's easy to get over to the Venetian. But this is the second largest hotel in the world. Walking between one tower and another can take five to 15 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. So if you wanna be close to the best restaurants, or maybe be on the better casino floor, or maybe have better access to the cooler lounges, or if you're just looking for maybe the better room between the two. I'm gonna go over that right now. So let me give an overview really quickly. Um, Palazzo is to Venetian, what Encore is to win. It was the second tower built. It was built shortly after the original Venetian tower, but there are differences. Um, it makes no sense for a hotel to make an identical tower. They have to make them a little different. So the personalities between Venetian and Palazzo are discernible, just not as discernible to me as Wynn and Encore. Like Encore, Palazzo is gonna be the more expensive hotel. Typically, it's gonna be at least 10% more expensive to be in the room, but that is also because you get a bigger room. Um, at the time it was built, it has the largest standard suite in Vegas at 720 square feet. That's tied with Delano, so it does have the largest standard suite in Vegas. Um, at least it did. I just stayed at Encore Suite, which was 745 square feet, but I'm not sure if that was standard or not. I think it is. But either way, you're, you're getting the largest standard suite or one of the largest standard suites in Vegas. The differences in decor, ambiance, and atmosphere are much more discernible outside the room. The rooms are pretty similar. Um, the Palazzo is gonna be a little larger, like I said, but the Venetian has this really cool sunken living room and that just adds like a dynamic and dramatic effect to the room. It really gives you separation from the bedroom and the living room. And I just always thought that sunken living rooms are cool. Now this off the top of my head, I could be wrong. I think the Venetian rooms are like in the mid 600 square feet. So I'm gonna say 660. Um, I'm just shooting from the hip here, so cut me some slack. So you're definitely gonna get more room at the Palazzo, but because the decor is so similar and because the rooms are set up so similar and because both Towers recently got a remodel back, uh, I think late 2017, 18. The rooms are gonna be nearly identical, nearly identical. So what you need to know is that the Venetian has the sunken living room and then the Palazzo has a slightly larger room. So make your decision based off that and also what you're willing to pay. Again, the Palazzo is probably gonna be at least 10% more than the Venetian. Much like Encore, Palazzo is the newer tower of the two. And also like Encore, just has a cooler, more contemporary, classier feeling than the Venetian. Now, again, this is very, very minimal, right? Because just like saying Encore is better than Win, it's really, really slight. But if you spend enough time in the rooms, on the property, on the casino floor, you'll definitely see that the Palazzo is marketed as the quieter, cooler, classier version of the Venetian. The casino floor at the Palazzo is much easier to walk through because it is open and also because it's slightly smaller. And here's the big thing. If you're walking in through the lobby, it is like, twice if not triple as fast to get to your hotel room than it is at the Venetian. To get to the Venetian hotel room from the lobby, it's an excursion. I mean, it might even be a quarter to a third of a mile. Uh, the Palazzo walk is much shorter. So if you are coming and going from this property, if you're at Wynn or if you're at Encore or if you're across the street at Mirage or even up at Caesars, 
um, you may want to choose the Palazzo because it's much easier and faster to get to your hotel room from the lobby. So the Grand Canal shops, you've seen this on social media, you've seen this in my videos. It is the beautiful shopping area with the painted blue ceiling that looks like the sky. Uh, it connects both the Venetian and the Palazzo, so that is the medium that connects the two. So you can access that from either tower, which is really simple, so you don't have to make your decision on which tower to stay at based on accessing the Grand Canal shops. Like the Grand Canal shops on the second floor, Restaurant Row connects the Venetian and the Palazzo on the first floor, and that's pretty much the main area you're gonna be walking by mostly if you're going back and forth between the Venetian and the Palazzo. But Restaurant Row is gonna have some restaurants closer to Palazzo and some closer to the Venetian. And I actually like the restaurants closer to the Palazzo. The one that comes to mind is Wolfgang Puck Cut. I talk about this place all the time. It is one of my favorite restaurants in Vegas. And because that is ultra close to the Palazzo, in fact, it's right by that epic Love Waterfall, I prefer to stay at the Palazzo because it's closer to both those things, the Love Waterfall and Wolfgang Puck Cut. Speaking of restaurants, there are restaurants on each casino floor, and to me, this is the easiest part of the comparison. The restaurants on the Palazzo casino floor are much better. You got Mott 32, which won Restaurant of the Year. Um, you have Major Domo, where I had that Major Donut. And then you have a couple really cool lounges, uh, one of them being Electra. So if you're looking for the cooler place, the trendier place to eat and drink, and you don't want to walk too far, I would certainly choose the Palazzo Tower over the Venetian. Let me finish by talking about the pools. The Venetian pool recently was upgraded. I don't believe the Palazzo's has been upgraded yet. So if you're looking for that mesmerizing, stunning pool experience, you're gonna to wanna to choose the Venetian because it has an infinity pool, it's newer, it's more modern, it's just a really cool place to hang out. However, and this is a big however, the Palazzo has six pools, two of them being part of a day club, so four regular pools and two day club pools. The Palazzo pool has much better sun access. Much better, it's not, it's not even a question. So if you don't really care about the aesthetic of the pool, you wanna work on your tan, you wanna be out there all day, you may not wanna worry about having to get out there right away at nine o'clock in the morning, or you may not wanna worry about only having a short window, say from 10 to noon to getting sun, you're gonna to wanna to stay at the Palazzo because the Palazzo has four pools and the sun hits the first pool at like nine or 10 and it hits the last pool at two or three. So you can literally be out there all day. For me, I'm choosing function over form, so that's why I would choose the Palazzo over the Venetian. So for me, based on the pools, the restaurants and lounges, the more open casino floor, uh, the easier access from the lobby to your hotel room, as well as the larger room, I'm choosing the Palazzo pretty much every time. However, if the room rates are astronomical, or maybe the Palazzo is booked, I would have no problem staying at the Venetian. Again, no matter which one you choose, you're winning. You have a phenomenal choice to make. You can't go wrong with either. It's really tomato, tomato. The differences are very minimal, but there are differences nonetheless.